As a historian myself, I've long adopted as one of my own personal heroes the late historian John Hope Franklin, who I first heard speak at a Ford Foundation conference in the 1980s when I was a graduate student. In that talk, he captured my attention by discussing what it was like to do research in the Jim Crow South for a black historian in segregated quarters. Indeed, many Southern archives would not allow him to look at materials in their many reading rooms and instead cleared out a broom closet so that he, could, he would be by himself to do scholarly historical research throughout most of his career. Uh, it was really, for a graduate student, by the way, at that time, who was kind of struggling with my own career and like, you know, the, the, the travails of having to be a graduate student, that story for me, I would come back to over and over every time I hit a rough spot in my own early career. More recently, his autobiography, Mirror to America, speaks loudly about the bridge work that scholars of color have long felt compelled to do as an integral part of their scholarly careers. And let me just quote from that autobiography, which I encourage you all to read. He said, from the very beginning of my own involvement in the academy, the goal I sought was to be a scholar with credentials as impeccable as I could achieve. At the same time, I was determined to be as active as I could in the fight to eradicate the stain of racism that clouded American intellectual and academic life, even as it poisoned other aspects of American society. Both challenges were formidable. While I set out to advance my professional career on the basis of the highest standards of scholarship, I also used that scholarship to expose the hypocrisy underlying so much of American social and race relations. It never ceased uh, it ever ceased begin, uh, beginning a risky fear of tight, it ever ceased being a risky fear of tightrope walking. But I always believed that if I could use my knowledge and training to improve society, it was incumbent on me to make the attempt. Thus, in addition to teaching and writing, I served as an expert witness in cases designed to end segregation in education, most memorably at the behest of Thurgood Marshall, and I marched to Montgomery to make common cause with those who sought in other ways to destroy racial hatred and bigotry. 